I didn't think you were ever going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get pretty annoying. Chris Keys, it's Monday morning. We're at Chateau Relaxo. What's going on today? Not too much, man. Uh, it's, uh, like you said, kind of dreary. Uh, I'm right. ready for a nap. Actually, I didn't say anything about dreary. You're ready for a nap. Uh, <laughs> that's me. Yeah, that's you. I'm pretty excited. Uh, Why are you excited? Well, you know, I like these. I enjoy these first looks. Um, fun to just... Get some weird new stuff, plug it in and see what it does. And today we have the Fur Coat by Orange Amplifiers. Uh, this pedal, which is, it strikes me as a frightfully British overdrive octave. It's, uh, it's very cool. Um, let me tell you the basic ingredients here. Um, you've got fuzz, of course, which I'm running pretty light right now. It may not sound it, but man, is it light compared to where it goes to full doom mode. Volume, which I really like because some fuzz pedals don't have volume and it gets a little unwieldy. Um, although the other, the cool thing about when you don't have a volume on a fuzz is that it forces you to kind of work the nuance out of your guitar volume, which is great. Um, but I, I do like it here. It gives you a little more control. Next you have... EQ and EQ tends to uh, there's a lot of fuzzes out there that are so high endy, so so bright and brittle that you know I'm not crazy about them. They kind of they're a, a little little hard for me. And then over here, the magic secret ingredient is the octave right here. And when you engage the octave, it changes color from blue to something I'm told has a red tint. Now, I can confirm the red tint. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as it turns out, I I am certified colorblind, so I have a very difficult time seeing red in certain contexts. So I can't really see the change. So um, you, my my fellow colorblinders out there, are fault or faulty wiring. Um, don't let that get in your way. You'll hear it more than you'll see it. <laughs> so you definitely, you definitely hear it. Although if you're colorblind, you may not see it, which I don't. But yeah, it's it's obvious. Um, runs on a nine volt or um, your power supply, like you'd have in your pedal board or whatever. I'm running on a nine volt because uh, guys like, you know, like Eric Johnson and Giovanna Massa, guys with much better ears than me, say that sounds better. I'll take their word for it. Um, uh, and I'm running a a uh, little canyon reverb with it just to give it a little something. But here, here's what my tone is. Just straight in. This is my old PRS. And we're in humbucker land. Now a lot of people uh, prefer fuzzes. Well, there's, okay, there's two types of fuzz people. There's those uh, that revere Hendrix and that old school vintagey thing. And these guys really go after that. They're going after the uh, the, is it Germanian, you know, old school parts? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but you... you Someone will tell you. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so many, <laughs> one, of, one of the haters out there, will, or perhaps just the nice, knowledgeable people, will let me know. Yeah, um, so uh, they're using that, which gets that old school tone. Um, so there's, and then there's other fuzz people that, that are the weird... Uh, bit crushing experimental noise people, and this kind of does both of those. Uh, why don't I just why don't I just quit yakking? You can I can spin some knobs and you can see what it does. So let's look at this. Let's let's look a little bit at the uh, the octave bit. Okay, here it is. Here it is off. And I like that when you when you play with your volume, it really does kind of come into a mellow kind of woman tone. Listen to this as I engage the octave. 
and I'm running my EQ kind of up there a bit so it really cuts. <laughs> to kind of jump between those tones. It's kind of like having a pog, is it? Mm -hmm. Pog running, you know, uh, after it. Very cool. Now, as I said, I've got it on the extreme setting right now, but you can do something a little more subtle with it. Roll it down to like halfway. And when it's about halfway, to me, you don't hear it. It sounds more like a tone change than anything. It's not super obvious, but it does, <laughs> to me, when, I, when you engage it like halfway there, like it is right there, it's almost like you feel more tension without even really knowing why. If that makes sense? Mm -hmm. It's like a subliminal thing. It's like a subliminal ice pick just hitting you right in the eardrum. Perfect. <laughs> you know? If this were my pedal, um, I think I'd go more with the extreme setting and just use it really judiciously when I want to just freak people out. But for the most part, you know, man, when you run that volume way down, or, or run, I'm sorry, run the, run the fuzz way down. which has got a pretty Hendrixy vibe to it. In fact, you know, same kind of pickups that we use on a lot of that stuff. Now here. Man, it's nice, right? Really kind of pretty. bit that I kind of told you about. Now let me put the 
that fuzz up a bit. Let's try right about there. Might as well. Why not? Hold on, let's find something appropriate. Mm -hmm. 